first of all is we are going to zoom in a lot as you can see it uh, to begin with then I would say uh, right here we're gonna place a keyframe and then we're gonna click restore now if you play back the video as you can see you know obviously uh, zooming in this uh, far is a little bit over the top what's happening guys my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and this tutorial guys in this advanced one I think we are just three or four weeks in a row we have some really advanced tutorials like how to uh, make a rewind effect how to create a scribble effect how to create a Sam Calder transition everything like that so I'm really excited to make this video as well because I've never shown this on the channel before and in this video as you can see on the title down below you can see that I'm going to create the dolly slash well the vertigo slash dolly effect so I think maybe 50 50 or even more uh, percent of the people watching this don't know what that is and basically the vertigo effect is basically a editing technique used in a lot of movies as you can see I'll show you guys this hospital stock footage as you can see the camera if we will play back as you can see the camera is zooming in into the frame and the vertical effect is when you zoom out on the same time so uh, it looks really cinematic so basically as you guys can see this is just a stock footage and the camera is uh, coming into the frame and the vertical effect is when you apply a, a zoom out on this clip so we're gonna do that real quick in this video and I would say let's get started so as you can see right now we all have uh, this clip you can use it on whatever you want and as you can see, we are all going to work with keyframes. Now, keyframes are basically little dots where you can uh, set certain, um, like, it's really difficult to explain. I'll show you guys in detail. So we're going to go, first of all, we're going to go over to the event pan crop. We are going to zoom in a lot, as you can see, it, uh, to begin with. Then I would say, uh, right here, we're going to place a keyframe. And then we're going to click restore. Now, if you play back the video, as you can see, you know, obviously, uh, zooming in this uh, far is a little bit over the top so I'm going to go to the first keyframe and uh, keyframe and I'm going to uh, do it maybe uh, like so so if you play back this video this is how it looks with the vertigo slash dolly effect applied on it So that looks pretty legit guys, we're going to go back to uh, the keyframe box and what we're going to do is the first, uh, the second keyframe, we're going to put that one to slow and the first keyframe, we are going to put that one to smooth. Now if you close this out, and obviously guys for the first keyframe, you do not want to zoom in uh, like this much because as you can see, the further you zoom in, the quality will go down a lot. So I would say make sure that you pick a uh, frame that you're happy with. Uh, I would say like this looks pretty cool. So this is the end result and this is how you apply the vertigo slash dolly effect onto a clip. So this is the final video. So that looks legit guys, so this is how to do it, I want to thank you for watching, thank you for the continued support, if you like this video make sure to smash the like button, also press the subscribe button at the bottom and turn on notification, that's a really important step in the process. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new Audacity tutorial as always and make sure to leave your suggestions for, for, for future uh, Vegas tutorials in the comments down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.